So Eddie Howe just held his Friday morning press conference here at the club's media centre with one big subject, certainly on the lips of most journalists, being Alexander Isak. Obviously he got taken off at half-time in that 2-1 win over Wolves. And basically this week hasn't been spotted in training. So Eddie Howe, knowing that he was going to be facing a few questions, you just wonder if there's a little bit of uh, kidology going on between Eddie Howe and Fulham in terms of holding back information about uh, the availability of Isak. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, talk of a foot injury as well now has emerged, something Eddie Howe was happy to play up. Not normally happy to play up uh, injury information from behind the scenes, but on this occasion, certainly uh, able to do it. So it's going to be an interesting one. Obviously, Eddie Howe does have other options, despite Callum Wilson being injured, uh, going into a fifth month now for the number nine uh, with that back injury. But I think really for Newcastle, if Isak is not fit for Craven Cottage, then he's still got Anthony Gordon who can play in that kind of false nine role. He's still got William Masula who's not been seen yet. Uh, the signing from Sheffield United who came in, had a very good uh, pre-season game at St James's Park in the Cellar Cup but uh, not seen since. So certainly some options uh, on the table for Eddie. Um, Newcastle can go top. We've already spoke about that uh, in the build-up to this game. You look at uh, where Newcastle are uh, from last season when they end up finishing seventh, feeling a bit sorry for themselves. Whether they've played well or not uh, is up for debate this season. They've got the results and they can go top of the table. So I asked Eddie Howe about that. I asked if they could stay up there. Can they challenge uh, for the top three this season? Uh, Eddie Howe not so keen on answering that one. Basically, you know, saying they're going game by game. They've got this clash at Fulham and then they've got a big test against Wimbledon. So Eddie Howe looking, or certainly talking short term, uh, Newcastle will have the work cut out to stay in that top three. But look, they've got a real run at it this season. They've got no European football. They've got uh, three weeks. They've had a free week this week. Now they've been able to take a look at things um, from behind the scenes. They've been able to watch other teams play in Europe this this week. So uh, a real chance for Newcastle to kick on this season. Certainly they can improve on seventh, uh, but anyhow, not getting too carried away with where Newcastle are on the table right now. What other subjects came up in the press conference? Well, talking about Newcastle's fantastic record at Fulham uh, last season, winning there twice uh, in the FA Cup and the Premier League. And the season before, a thrilling 4-1 win, which Almiron scored a wonder goal in. So certainly they go there with good memories. Newcastle will feel that maybe they should be beating Fulham. Um, you know, the, this is a team that Newcastle... You know, they've now invested 400 million in. Uh, maybe they should be uh, being ambitious and going down there and feeling that they should be the favourites for a game like this. But I think, really, when you look at it, uh, Fulham had a long week themselves, uh, getting beat in an epic penalty shootout at Preston North End in the Carabao Cup. And it's been a long week for them. And, you know, their manager, Marco Silva, looking really down in the dumps after that uh, defeat against Preston. Um, you know, last season they were talked about as a team that can maybe upset the establishment, but uh, this season they've really spluttered. Newcastle, as I say, themselves haven't played fantastic, but they've got the results. I, for me personally, I'd rather see a team getting results uh, and not playing brilliantly rather than playing brilliantly and losing the game. You know, it's it's very uh, it's possible to to do that as a team. We've seen it down the years, Newcastle played unbelievable football under Kevin Keegan, but didn't win anything. So I'd rather see a team, you know, like um, like a Manchester United perhaps, or maybe the old Liverpool teams where they used to uh, grind results out. Maybe they'd score in the last minute. They'd not play at their best, but they'd win the game. And I think that's where Newcastle need to be now. They need to be this team that can challenge. We've seen Manchester City in more recent times. Uh, they, they scrape results here and there. I think Newcastle have got to get that mentality absolutely right. Um, other talking points in the press conference, uh, Sean Longstaff, uh, his contract will be up at the end of the season. Eddie Howe saying that you know he's still a player that he values. 
uh, still saying that he's a player that he feels when he's on the pitch shows intelligence and he can rely on him and the team maybe loses something when he's not in it. So is that a hint to the selection at Craven Cottage tomorrow? That is another big talking point. Uh, who plays in that midfield three? I think not everybody's fully up to speed this season. Uh, even Joe Linton looked like he was struggling at Wolves. Um, Denali's obviously just come back from a ban. And Bruno Guimaraes was probably a bit leggy at Wolves himself after uh, international duty flying around. So it's... It's starting to settle down for Newcastle now, and I think it's about them getting the balance exactly right for this game. We'll wait and see what the team sheet is. I know Eddie Howe wanted to keep that one a secret, but I think when everyone's fit and firing, Newcastle have got a team that should be feared, let's be totally honest. So we're going to this one, hoping Newcastle can continue that unbeaten start in the Premier League. Can they stay in that top three? Can they go top of the table? For 24 hours, because certainly uh, Arsenal and Man City will have something to say about that on, on Sunday. But ultimately, I think it's a weekend that Newcastle fans hopefully can look forward to. And if they can sit at the top of the table, even for 24 hours, and get a taste of that, then I think that will certainly have them singing on the journey back uh, from the capital.